Hi, everyone. I just wanted to uh, take a moment to say thank you for being a judge, for helping our students, for everything that you do for the Rec Innovation Lab. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I also wanted to share with you some instructions on how to actually go about judging. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. I'll be sending you an email here shortly. And in the email, I will provide for you a link to this Google um, Drive folder. And the folder is entitled Fall 2020 Rec Innovation Showcase. And in there, you'll see a few different things, the code of conduct, uh, the pitch deck, uh, judging rubric, and the um, some of the PowerPoint slides that I've provided to the students, <coughs> excuse me, that they use to actually prepare <clears throat> their pitch decks, like this abbreviated pitch deck um, PowerPoint here. What you really need to concern yourself with, the two most important are the, uh, the judging rubric right here. And the other one is the actual, um, the sheet that we're using, the score sheet that we're using, and that is entitled Fall Innovation Showcase, and I think it's a scorecard. Yeah, scorecard. All right, so if you look at the scorecard here, there are 10 categories on the left. Those 10 categories on the left correspond with 10 categories on the left of the rubric. And the three columns in the rubric correspond with uh, essentially the three grading uh, primary grading skills, good, better, and best, were, um, I think that as long as, as long as uh, you maintain consistent grading throughout the, throughout the teams, it doesn't matter if one person tends to grade a little higher or a little lower, but you can use this rubric to really see what we're, we're looking for um, with the different teams. And uh, I keep iterating on this, so it's getting longer and longer, and so I apologize for the very small font, but uh, if you look at the different categories, half of the categories come from the team's ability to present well, and the other half are more about the content itself. And so when you're when you're using these um, this rubric and, and making your assessments, you're, you're essentially going to be doing it on two, two components, and um, that those are the um, those that I spoke of the the presentation skills and the content, but both at the live pitch deck and their recorded pitch deck. So each of the uh, students have provided for us a recording, a five to eight minute recording of their uh, pitch deck that they have. Uh, that we've shared with you on this form. If you go to the bottom here and you see pitch deck videos, that's where the link to all of their videos are. And so what we'd love for you to do is just go through, maybe do a couple, you know, a couple every day. The, the showcase isn't until Saturday. So uh, if, I mean, you can do it as you like, however you wanna approach this, but they're all there. Uh, you can click on that link, watch each of the videos and then make your assessments um, here on the scorecard. Now, it looks like just a few of the names have been inputted here. If your name is not on there, um, please do put, put your name on there. Like I know um, Steve should be on there and there's a whole bunch of other people who should be on there. I don't know why they're not, not a whole bunch, but um, two or three more. Um, I'm not spelling your name right, but you get the idea. So, it's, and um, oh, it's not showing up there. That's that's unusual. Okay, so uh, we'll make sure that you can put your, your name and everything in there. Uh, but uh, if you are not actually going to be a judge the day of the presentation, but you're just giving feedback to the startups, we would ask that you would put your feedback in this template on the, it's the second one on the bottom that says virtual only scorecard versus the rec, um, you know, standard scorecard. I wonder where that happened. Let's figure that out. So at any rate, uh, please do, oh, I see. No. So uh, please do either use the 
regular scorecard if you are going to judge the day of. If you're not sure, you can always move everything over. And the way that this works is you go down, you uh, each of the team names are listed at the top. The categories are on the left-hand side. And let's say, um, I don't know why the names aren't showing up, but huh. at any rate, uh, let's say I'm Doug, for some reason I can't type in there, but, uh, and I am grading, let's say Med Alert first. You'll go through, you'll, you will grade Med Alert on their um, organization skills. Where were they on this, on this uh, rubric? Were they uh, in organization uh, on the left column, in the middle column, or on the right column? And then if they were, let's say they were really great, just amazingly um, good, they were at 9.5 in the column, we would go back to this here and give them a 9.5. Right? So then I would go to the next um, category for Met Alert, and I'm Doug here, so I go back to the Doug score, and I uh, put um, uh, one through 10 again about their voice quality, their tone, let's say they're an eight. I go down, professionalism, timing, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see it takes a long time. There's a lot, a lot that goes into this. Then let's say you'd actually like to give them some comments uh, rather than just numerical scores, which we would love if you, if you could. You can just go to this, um, uh, this sheet here where it has the different teams and it has uh, uh, right now one column of notes. We can just add, add more columns. If you have uh, each particular judge might have judge two. I think I know why I couldn't see the name before. Judge three, judge four, whatever you want to put your name. I'm going to say actually Tanya here. Right. And um, you can put notes in there for one or more of the teams. Now, if you are um, just uh, not going to be there the day of, but you're just uh, going to be giving feedback to the teams, uh, we will only ask that you give feedback to, to five teams. I think that's, it's, it's a lot. I mean, this is a big project. If you if you want to do more and you can do more, great. The more, the, the, the better. I'm sure that the student founders would absolutely love it, but you don't have to do it anymore. A um, couple other things. Just want to let you know about the day of the, of the actual uh, Innovation Showcase. That is going to be on Saturday, December 5th at, uh, we start at 11 a.m. We are actually to get through all 18, 19 rather teams, we need to be fast. We need to be just on the ball. So um, we're gonna start exactly at 11. We ask that you get there between 10 and 10.30 so that we can set up, we can go over everything, make sure that you understand everything and uh, answer any questions. The students are giving on the day of, they're only just gonna give a very, very abbreviated truncated pitch, a two minute pitch plus, um, about three three to five minutes per team for questions, for answering questions. And um, we will, depending on how many judges we have the day of, we'll probably ask you to alternate between uh, judges for the questions. But last year we were really good at getting everything done just very, very uh, systematically and there weren't any lags and the students were ready to go. They're doing a dress rehearsal this Thursday. so. We're good. We should be should be great. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Reach out to Angela. I would be happy um, to to meet with you uh, before the the pitch deck, even uh, the day before. Or if you want to come on Thursday dress rehearsal, that's fine too. Just let me know, and um, we can work that out. Have a good one. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to send everything over now. Thank you, and take care. Bye bye.